Are you struggling to purchase the Midatoyo 500 19630 digital caliper or other digital hand tools that are vital for your business and operations? Have you noticed that the Midatoyo storefront on Amazon is still active, yet over 11 of their top 20 selling products are no longer available? And if the 500 19630 is so hard to find right now, why am I sitting on a throne of over 500 units? Stay tuned and we're going to discuss how a 16 month old baby has changed this industry forever. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering, what does a 16 month old baby have to do with industrial manufacturing and sales? Well, Based on the government's current interpretation, everything. You see, in October of 2022, 16-month-old Reese Hamsmith was homesick from daycare, spending the afternoon with her mother, Trista. At some point during the day, Reese managed to open the battery door on a small remote and remove the button cell battery. She was rushed to the hospital that evening, and later x-rays revealed the battery was lodged in her esophagus. Initial surgeries were unsuccessful. After a few days home, her condition worsened. She was readmitted, intubated, and sedated, and stayed that way for another 40 days. On December 17, 2020, Reese died in her mother's arms. I had no idea how dangerous these little batteries actually were. I mean, they've been in everything from a Casio watch to a calculator when I was growing up. And somehow, I only thought that there was a choking hazard or maybe a hazard of obstructing a bowel or something, but I had no idea the damage these things could do to a small child. I've got this video I wanna show you guys of what happens when you put one of these inside of a hot dog. I know it's not a perfect example, but technically a hot dog kind of simulates uh, the soft tissue that you might find inside of an esophagus. And again, it's not perfect, but it's gonna show you guys just how dangerous these little batteries actually are. Check this out. See, the craziest part about this is, that's hardly one hour. I mean, if a battery can do that much damage to soft tissue in one hour, do you really think that you're gonna be able to find the child, identify the problem, call emergency services, get the child to a hospital, get the child sedated into a surgery room with a surgeon and get this battery removed out of their esophagus before it does this kind of damage? Because I don't think I could. After Reese's death, her mom launched Reese's Purpose, a campaign to push for stricter regulation and safety standards for products using these types of batteries. In June of 2021, she launched a petition on change.org and quickly gained over 80,000 signatures. By November of that year, Senate Bill 3278 was introduced. And on August 16th of 2022, it was signed into law with unanimous bipartisan support. Then in late 2023, the Consumer Product Safety Commission adopted ANSI UL 4200A 2023 is the mandatory safety standard. Enforcement began March 19th, 2024. So, what does this have to do with Minitoyo? Haven't their batteries always been labeled properly? Well, UL 4200A has a lot more requirements than just labeling the battery. According to the law, any consumer product with a button or coin cell battery must meet strict requirements 
related to battery compartment accessibility in examples secure latches and screws, package and labeling, and safety certifications and documentation. It doesn't matter if it's a toy, a thermometer, or a $200 precision caliper. If it's sold to a consumer and it has a button cell battery, it's subject to Reese's Law. And here's the real kicker. Amazon is enforcing this rule hard. Sometime in quarter one of 2024, Amazon silently started requiring documentation for UL4200A compliance on every relevant product. If the manufacturer didn't submit a valid test report or proof of compliance, listing was pulled. That is why the 500-19630 digital caliper disappeared. That is why Sterrett, Marr, Fowler, all of the top manufacturers, their listings are gone too. In fact, some of the biggest names in the industrial metrology space had hundreds of SKUs wiped out overnight. It's not just digital calipers. It's not just indicators. It's not just height gauges. It's not just micrometers. If it contains a button cell battery, it is at risk if it's not properly certified, even if it's clearly not a children's product. This has already cost the industry millions of dollars in revenue. It's confusing customers, it's disrupting supply chains, and to be honest, nobody seems to be talking about it. So that's the story. A tragedy that led to legislation. Legislation that's crippling an industry. Reese's Law is here. And if you're in the precision measurement space, you need to know how it affects you. In the next video, I'll break down exactly what UL4200A compliance looks like and what manufacturers and resellers should be doing right now to stay ahead of the game. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you know someone that needs to hear this, please help me by forwarding it along. And if you need a 500-19630 digital caliper, I just might know a guy. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you again soon.